first ceremony. I don't know whether we pray or not. We take picture first. <laughs> so you, you know, get what I'm trying to say. We we will we our time is so much spending on all this here. So why don't spend our witnessing here? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Use whatever the, the devil has given. Use whatever God has given the gifts to create all these things. Amen. It's God given, it's not the devil. But the devil stole and is born. The God given one. Then they use it for the devil. Church, I just search. You know how many percent of Christian population in Indonesia? Anybody want to guess? How many million? How many million? Anybody want to guess? Ten ringgit answer. <laughs> it's almost it's almost the population of Malaysia. Twenty-eight point six million Christians in Indonesia. That is twenty percent of Indonesian population. Church, somebody predicted. By 2025, Indonesia is no longer a Muslim country. They're growing very fast. Malaysia is less than 1%. Now 700 or 1,000 Christians. Church, we have so much work to do. Don't talk about Malaysia now. Thailand was still. Less than one percent Christian in Thailand. Church, if we have some people in Thailand, text them, tell them to love Jesus. Amen. It won't cost much. It only costs your internet only. Let's reach the world when we have the chance. Let's give them the opportunity to know Christ and hear Christ. Amen. Amen. Let's not keep the good news for ourselves. Let not keep heaven for ourselves. Mm. Hello? Mm. The devil wants to keep every one of us from going to heaven and keep us in hell. But God wants us to go to heaven and keep us out from hell. Amen? The devil will try to burn the church, but the Holy Spirit will burn in the hearts of every person. Amen? Amen. Amen. Let release the fire of God. Let release the fire of the Holy Spirit. Let pray that God will release why fire of the Holy Spirit in Malaysia. Amen. 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 Wherever we are, we can do great things for God. Yes. Amen. It may be small thing. A small little faith I have. One person able to organize a small, a small gathering for food distribution. I just have faith and people come. I just have faith people join. I just have faith people give money. Amen. Because for a cause. We are living for a cause. A cause. That is heaven. Mm. Very costly. Amen. Amen. We miss it, we miss it. If the person miss it, we'll never have second chance. Church, let's pray that God will give us all the wisdom to be a witness for Christ. Amen. Be creative. Amen. We do a lot of work called online marketing. I'm still new in that. Huh? I'm start to selling something like my own hand, uh, a cola, my own color, also online selling. It work. Church, it work. So you can sell your Jesus or not. Amen? Free of charge. But it is so expensive. He paid the price by the, his own blood. Amen. Amen. How long will I preach? Five more minutes? <laughs> no, I don't preach too long. I, I can go on and on. <laughs> you let me know what time I should finish. Amen. Uh, 
I've been five, six months not preaching already, so you're not so much speaking to preach. <laughs> yeah. Church, let's focus on what we have to do as a Christian. God will provide every need to support you for the ministry and for your life. Amen. Because God did not send us to be a strict kid. He adopted us to be his own son and daughter. So we are not nobody. We are somebody in the Lord. We are someone in the Lord that we can call him as a father and he call us his son and daughter. So you are very special person. You are very special person. Amen. When you look down, you say, I'm nobody because I have nothing. No house. I have no house. Maybe you say, I have no car. Look around. No more children. I'm already all gone already. So nothing left. But when you look up, remember you have a Father God in heaven. Amen. When you look up, He adopts you as His son and daughter. When you look up, he have, you have everything. He has promised for you. Amen. Amen. Church, it's time for us to be a real and daughter spiritual son and daughter. Let us not stood down as a human being. You are not just a human being. You are spiritual and divinely called children of God. Amen. So rise up and take the challenge and rise up and say, yes, I can do it. Yes, I will do it. Yes, I want to see God. Yes, I'm going to see God back me up. Amen. 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 Now, time, of course, we get discouraged. The time sometimes we get disappointed. Now, time you feel like giving up everything. Do you? Or only me? <laughs> Hello? How about you in Sabah? You feel like giving up? How about some of you here? You feel like giving up? Oh, most of you are okay. <laughs> Church, it's nothing wrong to feel. You have feeling, we have feeling. But the truth is that He's God. Yeah. The truth is that He backed you up. The truth is that He always there to see you through. Amen? Amen. When I went back to Cochin Sani, the first thing that came to my mind, the first COVID victim died is a pastor. Oh, I said, how to preach to other people? You pastor? See, pastor died already. First COVID <laughs> in Malaysia died is a pastor. He's the best worship leader in Cochin. Oh, you know what the devil was? The devil will destroy your worship. The devil will destroy your communion with him. Church, remember. The first communion is your worship with him. Hello? You take, take your communion at home. Every morning, drink your mom. Coffee. Three in one. Or black coffee. Lord, thank you for another day. It's your communion with God. Roti chanai. Bore yoga. Amen? You don't have to wait for the hey, No church already. Oh, how? No communion. Or how to take communion? No pastor? No church? So how? You can take your communion with God. You are the witness. Yeah. Amen. Drink coffee, say thank the Lord. Take roti china and thank the Lord. You don't have roti china, biscuit pun bole. Nasi goreng pun bole. Amen. Remember your relationship with God. Because this is you and Him that make the difference. Amen. Coming to church is to challenge one another, encouraging one another. Amen? But alone is when you have to encourage yourself with God. Church, I think I can go on and on and on. But remember, hell cannot kill us and tie us down. The Holy Spirit will make us soar and fly high. Wherever we are, the Lord is with he never forgive and he never let us go and never leave us alone. 
He will always provide and He will always be with you. When you feel lonely, when you feel discouraged, call upon Him. He always there to stand by you. Shall we stand together and let's pray. Wherever you are, lift up your hand. Wherever you are in the camera or in front of your, your handphone, just lift up your hand and say, Lord, I thank you for this presence of God. Lord, I release right now the fire of the Holy Ghost upon everyone here and in front of the handphone. Wherever they are, the small group at the home, Father, fill them up right now. How the Holy Spirit just come upon them. Feel them. Feel them, Lord. Trust them out. In the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus will upon my brother and sister. Cover them, Lord, with your precious blood. Cover them, Lord, and protect them. Lord, I have faith in you and continue to be the witness for Christ, for you. Lord, thank you for the fire. The devil will try to put up the fire. He will pour water on him. But the Holy Spirit cannot be quenched. Fill them up. In Jesus' name. Father, I thank you. I give you all glory and honor. And make them a witness, Lord. I owe me in Jesus.